unearth the enigma of Tartaria, a forgotten empire shrouded in mystery. Dive with us into the depths of history, where fact meets fiction and everything is not as it seems. Welcome to Top Things, where we unravel the tapestry of time. Today, we dive into the enigmatic world of Tartaria, a vast kingdom lost in the annals of history. Was it an advanced ancient civilization, a powerful empire forgotten, or merely a mythical land? Join us as we explore the maps, myths, and mysteries of Tartaria. Don't forget to subscribe and join our journey through the unseen corridors of history. The Lost Civilization of Tartaria In maps from the 15th to 18th centuries, a vast kingdom appears under the name Tartaria, or Great Tartary, stretching across much of Asia. Yet today this land is absent from maps and largely forgotten by history. The mystery of Tartaria has sparked intense interest and debate over its true existence as an advanced ancient civilization and what became of it. We will delve into the historical accounts and tantalizing clues around Tartaria, evaluate the theories and evidence of its forgotten past as an influential empire, and consider why this purported civilization remains shrouded in mystery. Origins and Context of Tartaria the earliest known references to Tartaria come from ancient Chinese texts and refer to northern nomadic tribes beyond China's borders. It was a loosely defined term often synonymous with areas beyond Chinese civilization. Marco Polo later adopted the term in his 13th century travels to describe the vast Central Asian steppe regions. But most speculation around the Tartaria theory focuses on its prominence in post-medieval European maps. In atlases published between the 16th and 18th centuries by well-known cartographers, Tartaria appears as a massive kingdom covering much of Inner Asia. It stretched from the Caspian Sea and Ural Mountains eastward to Beijing and northwards to Siberia. The name derives from the Tatars, a term used for the Mongol tribes that emerged from this part of the world. Tartary was therefore used by Europeans as a broad label for this large, loosely defined Central Asian territory and its tribal inhabitants. On these antique maps, Tartaria's borders often compare with or exceed Europe in size. Its central location on the maps implies Tartaria held a significant place in geography, history, and trade. But despite appearing regularly on European maps for centuries, today the name is absent from any modern atlases the kingdom of Tartaria has virtually vanished from the recognized world. This mysterious omission is what has inspired modern intrigue around it. Theories and analysis of a lost civilization. Since its rediscovery in recent decades, the mystery of Tartaria has spawned many theories about its true identity and fate. While consensus is lacking, there are several leading hypotheses in two camps. Either that it represented a real advanced civilization later destroyed, or that it was always a fictitious realm, never accurately mapped or documented. Evaluating the merits and weaknesses of each major theory can shed light on this cryptic part of world history, ancient highly advanced civilization. The most radical view draws extensively from alternative archaeology and revisionist history. In this narrative, Tartaria was once home to an advanced Vedic or pre-Ice Age civilization possessing high technology and architecture, Adherents claim relics like the ancient city of Arkham or carved stone pillars known as the Vimanas offer proof of the lost civilization. Mainstream scholars dismiss such assertions due to lack of credible evidence, but the notion persists in some corners that Tartaria was technologically and spiritually superior to current society, perhaps by utilizing esoteric power sources like Vril energy. Unfortunately, cataclysms and warring tribes destroyed the enlightened civilization burying its legacy. While imaginative, dismissing all conventional history to insert an Atlantis-like ancient utopia often rests on pseudoscience rather than substantive evidence. Without extensive verification, claiming Tartaria as an antediluvian civilization advanced beyond our own remains speculative fiction. However, more modest versions of this theory do seem plausible. Powerful empire lost to history. A tempered version suggests that Tartaria may have genuinely been an influential empire at its peak, albeit far less mystical than fringe theories depict. Proponents argue that dismissing Tartaria as entirely fabricated seems questionable, considering it was routinely referenced on maps for centuries. They suggest Tartaria may have been a late medieval Turkic or Mongol empire that rose to political and economic prominence, 
only to later decline and be excluded from mainstream history for unclear reasons. Defenders cite modest archaeological evidence of rich cultural artifacts and ruins in the region as potential traces of forgotten trade centers or capitals. These could support the idea of Tartaria as a lost Eurasian power erased by history and neglected by 20th century scholars fixated on the West. The true kingdom may bear little resemblance to the hyper-mystical versions, but still reflects a major overlooked part of world history. Fictional place or speculative geography. Skeptics counter that Tartaria may have always been a fictitious realm added speculatively to older maps to represent the unknown eastern regions. Europe possessed limited knowledge of Inner Asia's nomadic peoples or geography. Hence, the cohesive kingdom depicted on maps likely did not exist. They argue Tartaria was informal mythologizing and romanticizing of the mysterious East, not a literal place. For critics, Tartaria seems most analogous to other speculative ancient cartography legends like Atlantis, generally fictional with only loosely inspired by scattered medieval sources. Later mapmakers may have simply reproduced and expanded the alluring realm through early modern times until more accurate Central Asian data replaced imaginative geography with empirical observations. From this view, the advanced kingdom exists only in myth, not disputed history. Significance and enduring mystique. Whatever versions or theories about ancient Tartaria one finds most credible, the enduring mystery surrounding it continues to captivate those fascinated with lost civilizations, hidden history, and mysterious antiquity. Unresolved questions persist centuries later that highlight challenges in reconstructing the past. What became of Tartaria? If Tartaria genuinely reflected a major Eurasian cultural or imperial center in the late medieval era, its precipitous disappearance from the historical record in just a few centuries remains puzzling. Dismissing its enduring cartographic presence as merely fictional seems insufficient. Those arguing for its status as a forgotten empire posit varied theories from population decline to cataclysmic events, to deliberate destruction and erasure. Yet its ostensible vanishing act on such a scale still confounds historians. Determining what exactly transpired to erase Tartaria demands further inquiry and evidence, the allure of hidden history. On a cultural level, the loss of Tartaria resonates due to the innate human captivation with mysteries of vanished civilizations swallowed by time, whose forgotten knowledge and achievements kindle our imagination. It fuels a sense that today's understanding of ancient history remains woefully incomplete. The alluring possibility of advanced cultures and secret wisdom now lost echoes myths like Atlantis. Who does not want to believe marvelous societies and technologies now forgotten once existed? Tartaria compels this romantic yearning, but risks veering into pseudo-history. Separating truth from fiction poses challenges. Impact on modern historiography. Finally, the case study of Tartaria represents an opportunity to improve scholarly practices of history and cartographic research, now far more empirically rigorous. Past dependence on mythic tropes cloaked as fact highlights the need for continual reassessment of conjectural gaps where modern assumptions replaced critical scrutiny. The interplay between power and constructed historical narratives also demands more transparent examination. Ultimately, grappling with Tartaria's ambiguous legacy makes historiography itself more self-aware. Conclusion The obscurity of Tartaria has spawned sensational theories over its mysterious disappearance. While its depiction as an advanced ancient utopia is likely unfounded, it may have been a consequential regional power later erased from history books and maps, but perhaps it always existed mostly as speculative geography blurring myth and reality. We may never fully disentangle Tartaria facts from fiction, but probing its uncertain past illuminates pitfalls in historical practices and our understanding of antiquity. At minimum, the Lost Kingdom provides a cautionary tale on the fragility of civilizations to the ravages of time and the limits of reconstructing history from fragmentary records. Tartaria's enduring enigma reveals as much about the present state of knowledge as any forgotten past. As we delve into the narrative of Tartaria, several critical insights and thought-provoking questions arise. The concept of speculative geography, Tartaria's presence on maps highlights the fluidity of geographical knowledge and the speculative nature of cartography in historical contexts. How might other known geographical entities from history also be products of speculative mapping? The role of power in historical narratives. 
the possible erasure of Tartaria from history books prompts a deeper examination of how power dynamics influence historical record-keeping. What other civilizations might have been lost or minimized due to the prevailing power structures of their time? The fascination with lost civilizations. Tartaria's story aligns with the human fascination for lost civilizations like Atlantis. Why are we so captivated by the idea of advanced ancient societies, and how does this shape our interpretation of history? Was Tartaria a genuine empire, rich in culture and advancements, later obscured by the sands of time? Or could it be a symbol of our collective fascination with lost civilizations and the mysteries they hold? These questions not only challenge our understanding of history but also invite us to speculate on the narratives shaped by those who record it. As we delve into the depths of history, we must ask ourselves, what other lost tales await rediscovery? And how might these hidden chapters reshape our perception of the past? What do you think about the theory of Tartaria being a highly advanced civilization? Are there other lost civilizations you believe existed? How do you perceive the balance between historical facts and speculative narratives in understanding our past? In your opinion, what lessons can modern society learn from the mystery of Tartaria? Join the conversation in the comments and suggest other historical mysteries you'd like us to investigate. Some suggestions for future topics we are considering are Exploring the legend of Atlantis, fact or fiction, the mystery of the Anasazi, America's vanished civilization, El Dorado, the truth behind the Golden Kingdom. Let us know in the comments. As our journey through the lost civilization of Tartaria concludes, we are left pondering the echoes of a world that might have been. What do you think about Tartaria's true nature? Share your theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this enigmatic exploration, subscribe to Top Thangs for more historical mysteries. And let us know, what lost civilization should we uncover next? Your suggestion might become our next thrilling quest. References. Fomenko A. History, Fiction or Science. Besides Catalan. Tartary, The Forgotten Kingdom. Cartographica, Volume 53, No. 3, 2018. Dori Heinrich, Drei Texte zur Geschichte der Ungarn und Mongolen, 1956.